With that out of the way, let me lay some foundations here. Definitions. Teaching. Webster defines teaching as the act of imparting knowledge or skill. Aristotle once said, those who know, do. Those that understand, teach. <laughs> you know what? Hey, there is nothing like seeing the lights come on in the eyes of somebody who has benefited from something you said. And remember, I said a few minutes ago that I was an educator for 10 years before I got into this IT career that I'm in now. And that part of me, it's never changed. I'm still an educator. I love to teach. All right. Second one, coaching, defined by Collins as providing intensive training by both instruction and demonstration in one sport or particular subject area. Here the coach strives to instill excellence by doing. Look at this, the quality whoops, of a person's life in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence regardless of their chosen field of endeavor. The great coach Vince Lombardi once said, <laughs> hey, that's coming from a guy who led the Green Bay Packers to the first two Super Bowls back to back. So this guy certainly knew what he was talking about, all right? Lastly, mentoring. As defined by Cambridge Dictionary, mentoring is the act or process of helping and giving advice to a younger or less experienced person, especially in an employment or educational situation. 19th century politician John C. Crosby put it this way, I love this. Mentoring is a brain to pick, an ear to listen, and a push in the right direction. I love it. My take on it, hey, the mentor will be somehow all at the same time, your biggest cheerleader, your strongest advocate, and your harshest critic. You see, they're the ones who will tell you, do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> Where have you heard that, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Having laid the foundation, how can we start building a methodology that seeks to leverage the best characteristics of each of these three?